channel we are at mabel Thorpe this week and we're going to have a lovely week and i'm going to show you all the sites around mabel Thorpe. <laughs> everybody it's uh, about 5 45 in the morning I'm out for a walk on the beach on my own everybody else is in bed uh, nobody will get up at this time apart from me uh, but the great thing about it is that you get the beach to yourself so have a look at this for a morning view not a soul about absolutely perfect so Mablethorpe, I've been coming to Mablethorpe since I was about two years old. I used to come with my mum and dad, they had a static caravan down here. And we've owned a static caravan at Mablethorpe as well for, uh, for a number of years. Uh, both on Haven site, Golden Sands, and uh, the last site was on Hollyvans, which is where we are now. Now Hollyvans is predominantly a static caravan site. Uh, but they do have uh, room for about five tourers um, down at the front of the site that can have awnings and about three or four uh, caravans that can have a, a canopy on them but no awnings on just outside reception so about nine ten caravans at the most uh, but a big field I'll, I'll show you some of the caravan site when we get back later uh, but it's a great site nice and flat and uh, it's about a mile away from Mablethorpe town centre which is right down there behind me so you can either walk down the road to it or you can come over onto the beach and, and walk down the beach which is uh, which is a fantastic route to take so let's wait for this sunrise and see what it's going to be like today wow look at this sunrise this morning absolutely fantastic about six o'clock we're at Mablethorpe where can you go to get a better sunrise than that absolutely fantastic this morning that cloud formation definitely helps. But yeah, absolutely fantastic. So here we are at the entrance of Hollyvans and our caravan is just parked over there. And to access the beach, you basically just cross the road, up those steps, over the dunes, and you are there. stuff down here and there's crazy golf there's a bit of a train i don't think trains running today and that's probably something to do with coronavirus uh, there's boating lake yeah, I'll uh, some crazy golf bowling uh, bowls rather than bowling okay. uh, we'll not be playing bowls but try and get on a boat if we can but uh, i'll show you around so you can have a quick look so this little bit here there's a putting green in the middle of here uh, and all the way around the outside if you can just see it there's a little train track and inside here is normally where they keep the train i don't think it's running it does, well it's definitely not running because it's not out uh, but usually it just takes you around a little track it's all right for kids to go and have a look around this part over here we've got crazy golf we've got bowls here so you can play like crown green uh, crown green bowling 
and then off there in the distance there's a bit of a boating lake which is where we're heading to see if we can get on a boat. So here they come, Kevin and Thomas. <laughs> Thomas is steering which is a good thing, I think, although he's getting pretty close. Hi! I've decided not to not to venture onto the water today for reasons of seasickness. Reminds me of the time when I was in Lanzarote and we hired one of these pedalos in Lanzarote. We went out about a half a mile and I got seasick on it. So I decided that I was going to jump off and swim back to shore, which I did, and left Karen in it. But Karen's steering is like not the best. And she decided that she was going to steer the pedalo further out to sea. By the time she got about three quarters of a mile out, I ended up having to get back in the sea and swim out to get her and fetch her back in. But I was not getting back on that boat. Seasickness and me definitely go together. Me and water don't go together. I like boats, but I don't see why they have to be in water. It's a great place to come out for a day. It's just about five minutes walk down from Mablethorpe, walk down the beach and you'll come to Queen's Park. Great place to come for the kids. How could such a simple thing of just steering a boat round the pond be just so much hassle? Come in number eight, your time's up. absolutely gorgeous today so we've decided to have a full day on beach so I'm just going to show you Chris and Thomas and I think, I think in fact I don't know what they're building they're marking something I think they're doing a dam but I'll show you this is Chris from he's bearing his grandson I'm not seeing he's uh, saying he's been a bad boy all week. <laughs> Do you like being buried, Keelan? Yes. Yeah. Oh, no, no. no, don't cover his head up, Grandad. Hi It's a windy night. We had a lovely day on the beach yesterday, and then today it's blown an absolute gale. I had to, the car is there, but the car is supposed to be on the other side of the caravan, but I've had to put it on this side just to block some of the wind. And it is blowing like a good one. And raining. So wet, rainy, but it's still nice and warm and we're on holiday and enjoying it.
So I think that's where we're going to wrap this holiday video up. We've just had a fantastic night, yeah. haven't we, at Circus? Yeah. And uh, you've probably just seen some of the footage that we've uh, we've taken at the circus. Absolutely fantastic time. Brilliant. Russell's International Circus. Yeah. Uh, I'll put a link down below for anybody that wants to uh, have a look and see if they can track them down and have a look at them. They're at Mablethorpe, I think, every year. They've only got a couple of weeks left of this season before they move on. Uh, but I'm sure they'll be back next year. So... Check them out. Absolutely fantastic time. Great night out. And we've right. had a great holiday. And yeah. thanks, everybody, for uh, for watching. So if you would um, like to give us a thumbs up if you've liked the video. And subscribe if you've not already done so. And we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye.